My name is Dom, and uh, I worked till 2 in the morning last night, so I got up really super fucking late. I didn't really feel, feel like doing my hair, so please excuse this mess. Today I'm here to talk to you about how Gorilla changed the game, or how he is going to change the game. Um, right now I'm not sure, I'm not too sure that fucking people have uh, figured out how to play him properly, and how to take advantage of him properly, because I haven't seen, I haven't gone up against too many teams in the past few days, that have used him to his full advantage. Uh, I've seen teams that have used him, but not not to not to his full potential. And um, so that's what I'm going to be talking about today because I think that this guy this is my prediction. Okay, that this guy is going to be top of the line. Is going to be one of the best in this game. Um, one of the most essential characters to to have on any team. Um, and let's go ahead and let's talk about why. It all begins with the smoke drone. That's, that's, oh my god, that's, that's it with this character. That's the reason he's the best, is this new element that's added into the game. And, and what, and there's a few things I need to talk about, specifically about the drone. The drone flies fast as fuck. I'm not sure if you guys noticed this, but it flies way fucking faster than any, any other drone in the game. I personally think, I'm not sure about Diversionist drone, it might be... Might be on the same level, but it flies fast as shit. You can fly it out at the start of the match from your spawn. You can fly that fucker out and mark the entire enemy team in like two seconds. It's so quick. I love it. How you make this drone absolutely beautiful is you put the fucking thermal sight, the th uh, 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 per the thermal perk on it, thermal vision, and when you throw out your smoke and whatnot, if you throw it down on people, you can like almost ping their location for your guys if they're going to run in and pick them off, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's amazing. Now, something to keep in mind with this is when you are using the thermal, yes, you can spot people and you can ping them, but you do have to get in there. You have to actually get in the smoke to actually find people. Now, the smoke drone uh, cooldown is very quick, so you get that drone very often. Um, it's, it's considerably less than the actual smoke gren uh, grenade itself that that takes a little bit longer i don't think it takes quite as long as the artillery mortar i could be wrong about that but i'll, I'll do some more testing but it, it's not it's not it's not crazy long this character is obviously a straight midline character if you guys know me i'm a backliner i uh i play a lot with sentinel sniper um stalker i guess and i that's how I play. That's my play style. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, backline, midline, frontline, feel free to check out this video that's going to be in the top right corner of the screen. That's where I talk about for uh, 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 battlefield uh, positions and all that good stuff. But anyway, I'm a backline character. That's, that's how my play style is. So when I switch over to this midline character, it took me fucking forever to actually like get the play style down to switch from a backline to a midline. It takes me forever to do that. But once I did, this character has to be one of the most rewarding fucking characters I've ever played in this game. It, it's crazy. Now with him, I played very, very defensive. I was avoiding as many gunfights as I possibly could. Well, not, not as many gunfights as I possibly could, but I was choosing my battles very carefully because I did not feel confident with the weapons at my, in my arsenal. I didn't feel confident enough to, to take people out consistently. Um, the, the G2, I, I want to love it, man. I really do. It's, it's kind of a pea shooter, uh, but it has a huge rate of fire, an insane rate of fire. The fucking recoil on it is ridiculous. I mean, if you can, if you can aim at somebody's pelvis and control that recoil up as you're firing at them, by all means, go for it. But I, I play with the MPX personally, just because it's a little bit more manageable. There's a little bit more uh, uh, damage and I you know I noticed something with this character too I've been playing a lot with the third person perspective when I'm ADSing and I, I fucking love it but it, anyway more on that later so I was playing very very uh, um, careful I was choosing my battles very very carefully I would only really go after people or confront people if I had a smoke drone where I could block off the lines of sight of every other team member that they fucking had I could run over to them probably preferably from behind or from the side and Fuck. Pop them and at least get a headshot a couple, you know, at least get a headshot and, and fuck them up that way. That, that, that would be my uh, tool, but I was very careful. You know, I, I would hop in, hop out, hop in, hop out of battlefield situations all the time. I was basically using my smoke drone to cover for my frontline characters, my point man and my predator, and uh, or my, my tank as well. And I would send that into, uh, actually, let me, let me break it down like this for you. What, what is the, the smoke drone good for? Well, it's good for a lot of things, and there's probably a lot more things that I haven't even discovered yet. 
the big ones, I think, the, the big three, if we will, are, are blocking lines of sight, creating cover for your team, um, but that, you know, let's, covering the objective, so HVTs, uplink, uh, uh, and recon towers, and then also covering revives, and, oh shit, I guess there's four of them, the big four, and covering your front line when you want to push up. So blocking the lines of sight so that you can cover for your team as you push up. Now, th those are huge. Those are huge things. And those are definitely things that you cannot do with the artillery drone. Um, and, and I honestly think the gorilla is one of the most necessary characters right now. Especially if you throw in a fucking thermal sight with him. You, you really don't need any other support character. Um, other, others will help. So then you can kind of leapfrog your drones up. So you always have a drone in the air at all times. But... The smoke drone is just, is totally amazing. I love it. I have so many fucking beautiful clips of great games. And, you know, it's really hard to just show like a 30 second clip of how I was successful with the gorilla. Um, because it's really a whole fucking game of how I was successful with the gorilla. I, I get a revive here. I block the line of sight here. I get the uplink here. You know, it, it's it, it's an entire game that you have to look at when playing with the gorilla. And that's what I fucking love about it. And I have so many games up here. I'm probably going to have one running in the background just so you guys know what I'm talking about. Some of my best clips. You know, I had clips where I would throw down a smoke drone and I was able to pull out uh, HVT from the extraction point. They can't fucking find me. Um, there were times where I, where I do get those revives, where I block those lines of sight perfectly, and then our team is able to go up and flank, you know, the sniper or whatever that's that's on this little uh, ridge. The the smoke drone is crazy to me. It lasts forever too. It, it it will last enough. So if I if I have a down enemy about 60 meters in front of me, I'll throw out that smoke drone on their body. I'll run out there, get a revive, even if they have severe wounds. That and so it's the longer revive time. I I will go out there. I will revive that enemy and then get out before the fucking smoke drone even goes away and I fucking love it it's amazing so now there are um you know a few counters to it that I think people have to think about because uh, how I see it now is gorilla is going to be one of the staples in every fucking team if you want to have a successful team if you want to have a really bomb ass team you need the fucking smoke drone you fucking need it trust me well you don't need it but it's definitely a huge asset um Throw on that thermal with it too, so then you can just start pinging enemy locations so that your assassins, point man, whatever, can go in through and navigate through the smoke properly, and, and it's absolutely amazing. Now, here's something you really have to be careful with, though. Don't don't throw out your smoke drone uh, uh, to help the other team. I'm going to be honest with you. There were a few times where I did do that, and, you know, you may be thinking, well, what a fucking complete moron. Who's going to go in and throw it on their revives or, or something? But but that's not, that's not what I did. I, I made a mistake, so... When our teammates would get in gunfights with other people, you know, mid-range gunfights, I would like to throw a smoke drone out in the middle of that gunfight if I felt like our team was losing uh, so that our team had a chance to retreat uh, or flank or get cover, get uh, uh, health, ammo, whatever, man. Um, because people don't like to go in that smoke. It's chaos. You can, but it's chaos. So... I would throw it down, but there were there were times when our team's like, hey, don't do that because I was actually winning that gunfight, and it, and it's hard for me to tell from that that drone perspective. So you really got to communicate with the team, be like, hey, are you guys gonna take out this guy, or are you guys gonna get fucked in the ass? And then you know, based on their reaction, send it out. But of course, there's sometimes where you get fucking mowed down in two hits, and 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 you don't have time to react to that. But if a gunfight does break out. And our team is is probably going to lose. I will throw out that smoke uh, to keep people back, and especially at the early rounds, I will throw it out and uh, try to avert rushers. I, that's that's something that I love about it. So if people are rushing crazy, I will throw out a smoke drone, and it's going to do one of two things. It's either going to divert their attention to think that w we are at that smoke location, or it's going to make them not want to go through it. Because think about it like this: if you throw out the smoke drone in front of people and if they just keep running keep running through it and by the time they get to that end of that smoke they're not going to have any idea where anybody else is at but we could have a whole team fucking staring at that location staring at the smoke grenade and then when those people come out we're going to see them and we're going to start popping shots and they're not going to have time to really uh, navigate and that's that's something that i think is amazing it really slows down the pace of the game it makes it so much more fucking tactical I love it. I'm doing my live stream tomorrow. You guys are going to see me all with the new characters. I'm not going to play with any other 
any other of them, uh, any other characters. So please stick around for that. But anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, please drop me a like. If you have any more ideas, thoughts, comments about the video, please drop them down in the comment section below. And what do you guys think? Do you think that that gorilla is going to be one of the staples that you're going to start seeing in every team uh, to really be successful? Please uh, let me let me know as well. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Also, guys, I would like to throw out on my live streams. I really want to play with you guys. I want to play with subscribers. I want. I play on PS4, so if you guys aren't on PS4, I'm, I'm sorry. But I want to play with you guys, so please let me know in the comment section below if you would like to play Like the Squad up uh, in my live streams, and I will try to make it work uh, for for everybody week by week. Uh, um, and if we have a great, you know, we've been doing really good on these live streams, and if we have a greater demand for it, then fuck it, I'll do another live stream. Uh, uh, a week or, or something like that, please just let me know and uh, we'll see what, see what we think about that.